You might remember that the rapper Tom McDonald came out with a song a few months ago, Snowflakes. It, it went viral. It hit top of the charts. As your humble cultural correspondent, we took a look at it on the show. You know, hip hop and stuff is not exactly my cup of tea, but I did get a kick out of the video. Well, I, I can't wait now. I have not heard Tom's new song. The producers assure me it's terrific. So they are going to play it for me. I will give you my expertise in the culture in real time. Half the country fell asleep, but they scream woke. We're distracted by vaccines and TV shows. Politics, celebrity, gossip, popular, neat quotes. Black lives, white lives, which lives mean most? We only dedicate one day to remember our fallen soldiers, the men and women who died young. But if you come out the closet as Caitlyn Jenner, you're a hero and you get a whole Pride Month. The most dangerous pandemic's propaganda from these clowns. Only mass that's gonna save us is duct tape on their mouths. Don't speak. We don't need to defund police. Need to defund the media who lies through their teeth like Big Pharma doesn't cure you, dog. Cause every patient that gets cured is a customer lost. And Big Oil runs the world. The only wars that get fought are with the countries who have natural resources they want. Heard him claiming if a white man braids his hair and likes rap, he's appropriating culture. But if a white man acts too white, he's white trash He's a racist, he's a bigot, he's a monster Let's just have the conversation Not every liberal is dumb, not all Republicans are racist The government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors Cause they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them They can't stop us Cause we're ready to fight Trying to brainwash us But we won't let freedom die The whole world's brainwashed Did monkeys become people and people turned into sheep They put fluoride in the water that's keeping us all asleep Claim they want what's best for us, I find it hard to believe Cause they've been selling us cigarettes since we was 18 oh, Pause it right there uh, You know, so I want to keep it going But I, I really love where he's going with this Because he's not, he's not just reciting sort of traditional The libs are bad, you know, and conservatives are good Or whatever, vice versa He's really getting much more at the heart of the problem, which is that there is this some, it's sometimes called the uniparty or the liberal establishment or the blob. It's just it, it's this structure wherein many of our political battles are just fake. They're just not real. They're just it's like play acting. You know, you'll they'll put up the Republican. The Republican is Mitt Romney and he's going to go up against the Democrat, uh, Barack Obama. And actually they agree on basically everything. And actually Mitt Romney invented Obamacare. And actually it's just a kind of a, a farce. It's just a, a play. And f in, in terms of the real uh, wishes of the American people, whether it's on immigration, drastically reducing immigration, which, which most Americans want, whether it's winding down some of these wars of empire overseas, whether it's um, getting back some of our traditional American liberties and g pushing the surveillance state a little further away from us, neither party is really representing that. And so, and, and so what, what he's recognizing is it's all just a TV show. It's all, and the, the media, obviously, the corporate media are kind of the the, the main propagators of that, but it, it's everywhere. Th this goes a, a level a little bit deeper. You know, as, lo as long as they can keep Americans divided and focused on race or something like that, then we won't pay attention to the way that the the regime operates, the way that the ruling class is actually governing us. Keep going. Fake news, fake woke, distract and divide. You're either right or you're left or you're black or you're white. Big tech don't need a microchip to hack in your life because the phone inside your pocket is a tracking device. Pause right there. This is great. I love this because you saw he went after the vaccines, which I like. I mean, not because I, d I actually don't think the vaccines are going to pump you full of 5G microchips and make your cell phone work better. But I, I don't like the idea that the government and the blob, it's sort of proxy private institutions institutions are now forcing people to get this experimental drug that does not have full FDA approval. And even if it did, for people who do not actually face a particularly grave risk from the coronavirus, I'm thinking about young people and healthy people, and they're really forcing it on everybody. And what he's saying here is, yeah, sure, the vaccine thing, that's, that's not great. But they don't need the they don't need the microchips, like some of the wildest claims and unfounded theories. They don't, they don't need the microchips they're already tracking you in your cell phone and on your laptop and on your iPad and on your fridge and on your microwave and your TV and everywhere, everywhere. The surveillance state has now fully embedded itself into, into the way that our economy works. And it's, 
It's the government in part. It's so-called private companies in part like Google. But then Google owns m- multiple entities with the government. So that line is a little bit blurry. Spot on, Tom. Keep going. And I don't know what I'm a sick of. Rappers or Joe Biden looking like he ate 100 Xanax for dinner. Because censoring the president and kicking him off Twitter is a bigger threat to freedom than foreign ballistic missiles. You don't trust the police. Totally true. Government, but you want people giving up their right to own a firearm. Why would you be comfortable if police and the government the only people on the planet with the right to buy a gun? White privilege getting amplified to reinforce the vision. It convinces white people that they're favored by their skin. And black people getting angry because they're told they're treated different. So the conflict is between us and never with the system let's just have the conversation not every liberal is dumb not all republicans are racist the government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along we'll probably go against them they can't stop us because we're ready to fight trying to brainwash us but we won't let freedom die the whole world's brainwashed everybody pick a team start a riot in the streets the whole world's brain right because the the teams are this sort of illusory often. The people only to consume step two, infiltrate adults with the news step three, indoctrinate the children through the schools and the music and the apps on the phones that they use step four, separate the right from the left step five, separate the white from the black step six, separate the rich from the poor, use religion and equality to separate them more step seven, fabricate a problem made a lie step eight, put it on the news every night step nine, when people start to fight and divide take control, this is called situational design. Uh, pause it right there. So some, some of this I think goes a little too far. And, and you hear this a lot, especially from the left where they'll say, hey, you know, they're just dividing us on these superficial distinctions between, forget about black or white or geography or anything like that. But then they'll get into like religion, for instance. You say, oh, these superficial distinctions. But actually those distinctions do matter. Religious ideas do matter. At bottom, all human conflict is theological. So the government right now has many religious ideas, uh, religious ideas about the nature of government, the relationship of man to the state, the relationship of man to his own person. You know, they have the the sort of Gnostic idea about transgenderism. I think most of the American people don't think that that, you know, you can be a man, but actually really be a woman. And, but but the, the government, the establishment does have that idea. That is a religious divide. I mean, some of, the, some of those things are real. It's not so easy to say it's us versus them, you know, us, we, the people versus the government. The other thing I might disagree with Tom a little bit here, I hope he's right, but he says, you can't stop us because we're ready to fight. I hope we're ready to fight. I hope that we're ready to use our political power to push back against this establishment. I don't know that we are. I, I actually think in, in many ways the, the regime is holding on to power pretty well. Keep going, Tom. Trying to brainwash us, but we won't let freedom die. The whole world's brainwashed. Everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets. The whole world's brainwashed. Just us against them, and then you against me. All right, right, right at the end. I loved it. I loved it. It's great, you know couple minor disagreements here or there, maybe on certain lines. Otherwise, this guy's spot on. Man. This guy understands politics better than probably 90% of mainstream political commentators. <laughs> and he's, he's a tatted up rapper. Great stuff, really. Way, way to go, Tom. I mean, I'm not exactly uh, the primary audience for rap and hip hop, but uh, I really enjoyed that. Good stuff. Good stuff.